In this tutorial, we'll look at power management options under Windows and how it can affect FL Studio performance. This is particularly relevant to CPUs that can speed step or change their clock speed on the fly. So let's start with the default balanced power setting. I'll also open the Task Manager and Performance tab. The most important metric is still FL Studio's own CPU meter, but I also want you to keep an eye on the clock speed. Yes, that was an audio glitch. Notice how this lazy CPU is throttling back. This isn't good if you want to avoid real-time glitches. This time, we'll select the High Performance Power setting. This is where all the series producers will have their CPU set. Now the clock speed is locked at the maximum, and FL Studio CPU meter shows a steady 25% max. The CPU power setting is often overlooked and the source of all sorts of real-time glitches, particularly on laptops where there's often different modes depending on whether you're on battery or external power. I'll leave you with a rerun of these tests so that you can compare the two. Until next time, enjoy your power settings.